find the value of k for which one root of the quadratic equation here kx square minus 14x plus 8 equal 0 is 6 times other. So here I will consider let the two zeros be like alpha and beta. Alpha I will consider it as like if you consider as alpha itself then beta will be 6 alpha. So I will solve this problem by taking sum of the zeros and product of the zeros. This I will consider it as standard equation if you take ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. So here a value is k, b is minus 14, c is 8. They told 1 0 is 6 times the other. So now sum if I will calculate alpha plus beta is minus b by a. Alpha is alpha, beta is 6 alpha minus b by a minus of minus 14 by k. So 7 alpha is 14 by k. Next if I do product of the zeros alpha into beta is c by a. So alpha is alpha, beta is 6 alpha, c value is 8, a value is k. So 6 alpha square equals 8 by k. Now if you observe here, see here I can cancel with 7 tables, 7 times 1, 7 times 2. So alpha value is 2 by k. This alpha value, I will substitute over here. I will substitute in this. So 6 times alpha, which is nothing but 2 by k whole square equals 8 by k. 6 into 4 by k square equals 8 by k. Now see 6 into 4, 24. So the next step I will do it over here. 6 into 4, 24 by k square equals 8 by k. Now, if I will cross multiply, see here now, 24k equals 8k square. So, 8k square minus 24k equals 0. 8k if I will take common k minus 3. So, 8k equals 0, k minus 3 equals 0, k equals 0 by 8, k equals 0 and k equals 3. So, k equals 3 is the answer because k equals 0 if I will take here, this total you will not get a quadratic equation itself. So, k equals 0 is not possible. See, this step you can simplify in another method also. That is 24 by k square equals 8 by k. So here you can cancel 1k and k. 8 ones, 8 3. So you are left with 3 by k equals 1. So if you cross multiply, k equals 3. So in this way we can simplify. The value of k is 3.